In this question, we have to find out the fourth vertex of a parallelogram when three other vertices are given to us. Let us see the solution for this. It is given that A3-1,2 and B1,2-4, C-1,1,2 are the vertices of the parallelogram ABCD. We have to find out the fourth vertex D. Here is a parallelogram ABCD and AC BD are diagonals and they are intersecting at O and we know that diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So therefore the two diagonals AC and BD have a common midpoint. So that implies midpoint of AC is equal to midpoint of BD. Now we don't have D, therefore let us assume the fourth vertex D has X, Y, Z. Now let us take the midpoint formula. Now the midpoint formula is X1 plus X2 by 2 comma Y1 plus Y2 by 2 and Z1 plus Z2 by 2. Now let us write the midpoint of AC first. Let us consider A and C. So X1 plus X2 that is 3 plus minus 1 that means 3 minus 1 by 2 and midpoint of AC also in that we will take Y coordinates minus 1 plus 1 by 2 and next is 2 plus 2 by 2. This is the midpoint of ESE. Now let us go for midpoint of BD where B is here and D is here which will be 1 plus X by 2 and 2 plus Y by 2 and minus 4 plus Z by 2. Now if we simplify further we get this is 1 because 2 by 2 and this is 0. This is 2 plus 2 is 4 by 2 is 2 which will be equal to 1 plus x by 2, 2 plus y by 2 and minus 4 plus z by 2 as it is. Now let us equate all the coordinates to get the values of x, y and z. 1 plus x by 2 is equal to 1 that will give us 1 plus x is 2 so x is equal to 1 and similarly 2 plus y by 2 is equal to 0. So 2 plus y is equal to 0. So y is equal to minus 2. Minus 4 plus z by 2 is equal to 2. So minus 4 plus z is equal to 4. So z is equal to 8. So we can write the fourth vertex of the parallelogram is 1, minus 2 and 8. In this question, we were given the vertices of a triangle and we have to find out the lengths of the medians of the given triangle. Let us see the solution for this. Given that A006 and B040 and C600 are vertices of triangle ABC. Here is the triangle ABC and AD is the median and BE is another median 
and CF in one more median. So AD, BE and CF are medians. So therefore D, E and F are midpoints of BC, AC and AB respectively. Now if you can find out the coordinates of D and then we can find out the length of AD similarly for BG and CF also. So the midpoint formula is this. Using the midpoint formula let us find out DE and F. Now D is the midpoint of BC so let us take B and C that is 0 plus 6 by 2, 4 plus 0 by 2 and 0 plus 0 by 2 which will give us 6 by 2 is 3, 4 by 2 is 2 and 0. Now we will find out E. E is the midpoint of AC. A and C we will consider that is 0 plus 6 by 2 and 0 plus 0 by 2 and 6 plus 0 by 2 which will give us 3 0 3 and similarly we will find out F here F is the midpoint of AB here you can see F is the midpoint of AB so AB are here 0 plus 0 by 2 0 plus 4 by 2 and 6 plus 0 by 2. Then we get F as 0, 2, 3. Now, to find out the distance between A and D, that means length of AD. For this we have to use the distance formula. So here is the distance formula. Now we have to find out the length of AD. Therefore A is 0, 0, 6 and D is 3, 2, 0. You can see here 3, 2, 0. Now AD length will be 3 minus 0 whole square plus 2 minus 0 whole square plus 0 minus 6 whole square. This is 9, this is 4, and this is 36. So this is square root 49 which will be AD length is 7 units. Now let us consider the points B and E and we will find out the length of BE using the same distance formula. This is 3 minus 0 whole square 0 minus 4 whole square and 3 minus 0 whole square. This will be 9, this is 16 and again 9. This will be square root 34 units. Now let us find out the length of CF. This is 0 minus 6 whole square, 2 minus 0 whole square and 3 minus 0 whole square. This is 36. This value is 4. This value is 9. So square root 49 that is CF length is 7. So the lengths of the medians AD is 7 units, BE is square root 34 units and CF is 7 units.
In this problem, the three vertices of the triangle PQR are given and a centroid is at the origin and we have to find out the values of the variables A, B and C. Let us see the solution for this. It is given that P 2A, 2, 6 and Q minus 4, 3B, minus 10 and R 8, 14, 2C are the vertices of triangle PQR. And the centroid is at origin. So the centroid formula is x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3, and z1 plus z2 plus z3 by 3. Now let us find out the centroid here. That is 2a minus 4 plus 8 by 3. I am adding all the x coordinates. Similarly, y coordinates that is 2 plus 3b plus 14 by 3 and z coordinates this time 6 minus 10 plus 2c by 3. Now if I simplify further, which is 2a plus 4 by 3 3b plus 16 by 3 and 2c minus 4 by 3. Now but the centroid given is origin. That means x, y, z coordinates are equal to 0. That implies 2a plus 4 by 3 is 0. So 2a plus 4 is 0. That implies a is equal to minus 2. Similarly, 3b plus 16 by 3 is equal to 0. So 3b plus 16 is 0. So this will give us b is equal to minus 16 by 3. Now 2c minus 4 by 3 is equal to 0. This is 2c minus 4 is 0. So c is equal to 2. So we can write now the values of a is equal to minus 2 b is minus 16 by 3 and c is 2. In this problem we have to find out the coordinates of a point which is on y axis and when the distance between that point and the given point P is given to us. Let us see the solution for this. This given point is P3 minus 2 and 5. Let the point on y-axis be 0, y and 0. As we all know, if a point is on y-axis, then its x and z coordinates will be 0. And also given that, let us name this point as Q. The distance between these two points is 5 root 2. So the distance formula is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square. Now let us substitute into this 0 minus 3 whole square plus y minus of minus plus 2 whole square plus 0 minus 5 whole square square root for this and the distance given as 5 root 2 units. Now by squaring on both sides we get here this is 9 and this is y plus 2 whole square and this is 25 but here right hand side this 5 root 2 will be squared. 
On further simplification, this is 34 plus y square plus 4y plus 4 is equal to 50. On further simplification, y square plus 4y plus 38 minus 50 is equal to 0. And here we get a quadratic equation which is y square plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. If we factorize this, we get y square plus 6y minus 2y minus 12 is 0. Then on simplification, we get y plus 6 into y minus 2 is equal to 0. So y plus 6 is equal to 0 or y is in minus 2 is equal to 0. So from here we get y is minus 6 and here y is 2. So the required point on y-axis is either 0, minus 6, 0 or 0, 2, 0. Now in this question, the two points P and Q are given to us and R is a point which is having x coordinate 4 lies on the line segment joining these two points and we have to find out the coordinates of R. Let us see the solution for this. The given two points are P 2 minus 3 4 and Q 8 0 10. Now R be a R is a point on PQ and its x coordinate is 4. Now let us assume R divides the line segment PQ in the ratio K is to 1. Now the section formula is given here. Now using this formula, let us find out R. This is M1 is to M2 is K is to 1 here. Now K into 8 plus 1 into 2 by K plus 1. K into 0 plus 1 into minus 3 by k plus 1. k into 10 plus 1 into 4 by k plus 1. If we simplify further, we get 8k plus 2 by k plus 1. And there's a 0 minus 3 is minus 3 by k plus 1. And this is 10k plus 4 by k plus 1. This is point R. Now it is given that the x coordinate of R is 4. Therefore, we will equate this x coordinate 8k plus 2 by k plus 1 with 4. And if we simplify this, we get 8k plus 2 is equal to 4k plus 4. Then on further simplification, we get 4k is equal to 2, k is equal to half. Now by substituting the value of k into the y and z coordinates, we can get the other coordinates also. So the y coordinate is minus 3 by k plus 1, that will be minus 3 by half plus 1, this is minus 3 by 3 by 2, which will be minus 6 by 3, that is minus 2. Now z coordinate is ten k plus 4 by k plus 1, so that is 10 into half plus 4 by half plus 1 
Now this will be 5 plus 4 is 9 and this is 3 by 2 which is 18 by 3 that is 6. So therefore the coordinates of R is equal to 4, x coordinate is 4 and y coordinate we got it as minus 2. Here it is and the z coordinate is 6. In this problem we were given the two points A and B and we need to find out the equation of set of points P such that PA square plus PB square is K square. Let us see the solution for this. Now, given points are A is 3, 4, 5 and B is minus 1, 3, minus 7. Now let us assume P be a point with the coordinates x, y and z such that P A square plus P B square is K square where K is any constant. So the distance formula is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square. Now first of all let us find out the distance PA. So that is x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square plus z minus 5 whole square. Therefore P A square will be x square minus 6x plus 9 plus y square minus 8y plus 16 plus z square minus 10z plus 25. On further simplification, we get x square plus y square plus z square minus 6x minus 8y minus 10z plus 50. This is P A square. Now similarly, let us find out the distance P B. This will be x minus of minus 1 which is plus 1 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square plus z plus 7 whole square. If we write to b b square that means squaring on both sides we get x square plus 2x plus 1 this is y square minus 6y plus 9 this is z square plus 14z plus 49. Now on further simplification, we get x square plus y square plus z square plus 2x minus 6y plus 14z plus 59. Now according to the problem, PA square plus PB square is equal to K square. Now let us write the PA square which is here. This is x square plus y square plus z square and minus 6x minus 8y minus 10z plus 50 this is p a square plus p b square is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2x minus 6y plus 14z plus 59 is equal to k square. Now let us simplify further. We get 2x square plus 2y square plus 2z square minus 6x plus 2x is minus 4x minus 8y minus 6y is minus 14y minus 10z plus 14z which is plus 4z and 50 plus 59 is 109 is equal to k square. Now that will give us, we'll take two common 
in this x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x minus 7y plus 2z and this 109 we will send other side now this will give us x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x minus 7y plus 2z is equal to k square minus 109 by 2. So the equation of the set of points P such that PA square plus PB square is equal to k square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x minus 7y plus 2z is equal to k square minus 109 by 2.